Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with Jeff Holland, illustrious Jeff Holland, and he's going to show us a fantastic demo, end to end, of the serverless platform in Azure. But not just any part of the serverless platform. He's going to show all, I mean, all, like all kinds of the whole thing, stuff. The, the whole, whole thing. thing. Buckle up. Buckle, buckle up and strap in, <laughs> because this is going to be a wild ride. And I don't mean Mr. Toad style. That's a fact. Uh, I don't know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> so, uh, no. so please, tell me, t first tell everyone who you are. Sure, for yes. Those who, for those two people who don't know. That's a fact. <laughs> two of the three watchers uh, who don't know. And hi, Mom, by the way. Thank oh, you so yeah, much. Nice. Uh, uh, one, one extra viewer for me. Was nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I am Jeff Holland. I am a program manager here in Azure. Mm -hmm. uh, and I not only... You've been on the show before. No, I haven't. No, really? no, I have not. This is my debut. Very exciting day. Dressed up in my nice blue shirt. Uh, in your Azure blues. In my <laughs> Azure blues. Uh, and I focus on, like Corey said, serverless. So Azure Functions, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Event Grid. Uh, not only get to outbuild it, but I enjoy using it myself. We didn't do a Logic Apps demo. I'm pretty sure we did. Kevin Lamb. <gasps> Don't look that episode up. It needs no more views. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. please proceed. <laughs> and now you're done to two viewers. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I will start this with a little bit of a story uh, because this is how serverless. Yeah, I'll paint a Bob picture. Rossett, Bob please. Rossett. Uh, so for the holidays, I was gifted a video IoT doorbell that I stuck at my house. And when you ring the doorbell, it's got a camera on it. It takes a recording of the entire whatever interaction of the doorstep. Mm -hmm. And then it sends a ping, in my case, to my phone to say, hey, someone's at your door. Mm. So that's cool. It's a nifty device, okay. uh, relatively inexpensive. But what I wanted to do is take it to the next level, mm. you know, crank it up to 11. It's before your time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's before uh, my time. <laughs> Uh, so I hooked it up to Azure Serverless. Uh, and I'm going to show you that now. And it's pretty cool, the capabilities Excited. that are there. I'm going to show you how these pieces fit together. And this whole thing that we're going to demo is all posted on GitHub. There's docs and blogs that show you how to build something just like this. Uh, so the first part of it is. Without further ado. Yeah. Someone rings my doorbell, OK? I need to know that someone rang my doorbell. So I'm here in Visual Studio Code, which is a phenomenal place to write mm -hmm. Azure Functions. And what, what? Oh, look at this. You're right. In you fact, I'm in JavaScript. Script. One thing to call out, we do have a brand new Azure Functions extension right inside Visual Studio. So I can create apps here. I can publish you apps. I can manage my apps. It's very nice. So I wrote a really simple Azure Functions. You can see here, not very long, where all I'm really doing is check to see if someone has rang my doorbell. Every, I've got a timer. So in my case, I look every 15 seconds. And if somebody rings my doorbell, I'm going to send that event to Event Grid. So what this enables me to do, instead of my function having to do any action, I'm going to leverage Event Grid, which we have talked about before. I think marketing, there is a space right there. Uh, what Event Grid allows me to do is publish these events and then instantly have them routed to any consumers who may be interested in an event. Awesome. It happens instantly, push-based. It's all serverless, right. uh, super convenient. Just a few clicks of the buttons. And we've seen that, actually, on the that we, yeah. have, we, we have invited Dan on this. Dan, show. yes. And that's a phenomenal one. Check that one out. Uh, Dan talks about Event Grid. I'm playing favorites a little bit you here now. You are playing, clearly. Gaining enemies. Yes. Uh, but you can see here, in my Azure Event Grid, in my subscription, I've been able to automatically add in to, well, not automatically. I did this. It'd be amazing if this automatically <laughs> like your mind. Machine learning to the next level. Uh, but I, Skynet style. <laughs> scary. I was able to register two endpoints right now. In this case, when someone rings my doorbell, I want to notify a function. function and a logic. Uh, and I'm going to notify a logic app. And the case, the case that it shows the functions is lowercase. Uh, logic apps is camel case. Uh, you know, you, you take from that sort whatever of camel you will. Case. Actually, not camel case. It's just upper case. Yeah. that's. Uh, I don't like know. It, it's like a, it, what's it, a Freudian slip when you're typing and you miss the shift key? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, so <laughs> it's said Freud know. and Corey's gone. Uh, like, but what's, what's great about Event Grid is not only show. does it notify <laughs> these instantly, <laughs> but if let's say tonight I say, you know what, now I want this IoT doorbell to know about this, or I want another thing to know, without me having to go and change any of this function code, I just add a new listener, and that thing's going to get notified on those events, too. Just plug and play. <laughs> there we go. So the next piece I'm going to show. Before your time. <laughs> <laughs> 
So one of the listeners I showed you was an Azure Logic app. And you have seen Logic apps before, as Corey uh, rubbed in. And Those demos were fantastic, yeah. as compared to this one. I'm using here uh, the event grid trigger. So I was able to just come in here and say, hey, listen to any events coming from my Ring doorbell, mm -hmm. in this case. Mm -hmm. And what Logic Apps lets me do in the serverless space is now create an orchestration. So now I can do a process on top of that doorbell. So here, I'm waiting for the recording to finish. It will like record as I long see. as there's someone I there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have this loop here where this is going to loop around and wait 15 seconds and then check again yep. uh, with an Azure function. Right. Once the oh, go ahead. You got, got a question? No, <laughs> no please. Go uh, on. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Once the recording's ready, this this is where the magic jumpy, happens. A little bit jumpy. This is where the magic happens. If you stuck with us this long, here's the payoff. There is a connector out of the box with Logic Apps because Logic Apps has over 200 connectors, so I don't have to write this code. It's managed for me from the platform. This is to the video indexer service, which is one of the Azure Cognitive Services. Yeah. This is like a mashup service where it's actually going to take any video feed grab all the people out of it, the sentiment, the transcript, everything, emotions. Takes to try and do some facial recognition, see if it's all good. All of it. Yeah. I'm going to do that with my doorbell. So now I have a record of who's come to my doorbell, what was spoken on my doorbell. Uh, I could add in more logic to like text me and be like, hey, you were out of town, and Corey's been knocking on your door for 45 minutes, and he won't leave. And I mean, that's good to I know. I was looking for a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can know through serverless. Uh, so I upload that video to Cognitive Services. Again, I didn't write this code. I just kind of said, pass in the recording URL, pass in, just uh, like gave it a name. Yep. Uh, and now I have another loop where I'm waiting until that's processed. Uh, I'm going to get the details of the video. And my last step, the grand finale, is sticking all that data into Cosmos DB. And you can then go do any sort of additional analytics you want to with that. Part. That's right. Uh, so if I actually come in here and open up uh, the video indexer portal, this is where it gets a little bit creepy. But you can see this is so like this real. Is, this is the this is the video uh, cognitive video. Uh, this service. is the cognitive video service that all my doorbell videos are getting uploaded to. So if I was to grab one of these and and uh, open it, you'd be able to see all the analytics. Like this is the one this morning, probably when I was leaving for work. So you can oh, see I said let's see, let's see, I said the word love because I'm such a good husband. Uh, so I, I, I was talking, see, there I am saying hi even. Uh, but all this got Did processed. Did you know this was going to happen? It's almost like I knew I was going to be on Tuesdays with Corey today. Uh, so this is the video that automatically got uploaded five on, views on even. 112. This was uh, on 112. That's right. Oh, I don't know when this is published. Oh. The magic oh. of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's it. So that is end to end. Fantastic. What's awesome here, too, the, the grand, I've said grand finale like <laughs> 18 <laughs> times. <laughs> What's great, though, is if I really? come in here and look at my bill, so far this whole month I've paid maybe eight cents for this entire solution. Uh, I don't have a bunch of visitors, as you can see from the event grid graph. Uh, Awkward. But it, it spins up, <laughs> so you're saying does that logic more for me. Normally popular people would pay a lot more. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but like, I don't need a server running 24-7 to process the events when you know the mail carrier comes That's and rings right. my doorbell. So serverless is a great fit for this. And if for some reason it did, I got a ton of visitors for whatever reason. You pay just for, yeah, Maybe you as a result of this. Uh, People are coming by. They want to see what you got. Uh, then it would scale up. Then it would scale up. And I only pay for what I, I use. I have so many visitors that I, I can only run it with VMs. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, you guys just, and many, a lot. Wow. Lots of VMs. Wow. I mean, we're talking hundreds of VMs at my door. Yes. Just waiting. You know, if you're going VMs, at least go Azure VMs. <laughs> That's all I got to say. All right. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't have any visitors uh, uh, except you. Jeff. This is getting a little too real. This is getting too real. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. This is awesome. Great we have you on here. for another show. Yes. Next week, I think we're going to have you come back on talking about durable functions. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Mark stay your tuned calendars. For that. Enjoy that. And with that, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you have questions for us, we'll put his hash, his hash name, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a hash name on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, we'll, put, <laughs> we'll, put, we'll put him on the, uh, on the tweet out. Um, hit us up with questions with uh, hashtag Azure TWC. And with that, have a lovely Tuesday. And thank you, Jeff, so much for joining. Thanks so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but making my voice is yeah. just so <laughs> That was some really nasty flies in the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right.
You should put that, by the way. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Flies in the air. 